Thank you to the Tarrant Institute, the University of Vermont, and Google for making it possible for Emma, a mobile studio for creating and making, to visit schools throughout Vermont. What does one of those visits look like? Let's take a look. How does Emma help move your work forward? By working with you to plan, experience, and debrief a maker-centered learning experience. This experience can take many shapes or form. Let's take a look at what some of the Emma visits have looked like so far to give you some ideas of what an Emma visit could look like in your community. For their Emma visit, the Bethel community set a goal to engage students and teachers into the conversation about makerspaces. They were in the early stages of that conversation. So we planned a half-day internal field trip where students and teachers would get an opportunity to experience maker materials and see what a maker mindset looked like in a maker-centered learning activity. We used Makey Makeys and lots of other materials. And after this experience, the students and the principal and teachers got together to dis discuss a possible makerspace design for their space. The Crossing Brook School had had a makerspace in place for over a year. Their goal for the Emma visit was to help the makerspace become more integrated into curricular projects in the project-based learning that was already happening at their school. So for their maker visit, we planned a series of maker workshops that were going to happen throughout the day where teachers and the whole class came down for a period of time and worked with paper circuits to develop a statement that was illuminated with LEDs and batteries and copper tape. The statement, in each case, explored some curricular concept that was happening in their classroom from sustainability to human rights. At North Country Union Junior High School, the goal for the Emma visit was to examine some possibilities for including coding and a maker mindset into their current tech ed design course. During the Emma visit, I worked with their tech ed educator to plan a co-teaching experience that would bring coding into his current curriculum, which included working with CO2 cars. We used Scratch and Makey Makey, and not only did we model some ways that coding and make a mindset could be used with his CO2 cars. We also extended out to a school-wide digital storytelling project and modeled a lesson of how Emma could be used with digital storytelling. At Grand Isle, the Emma visit goal was to use making as part of an integrated school-wide focus on project-based learning with service learning built in. So we planned a day-long PD event where some students and teacher representatives came in and used design thinking to explore ways to integrate maker materials and processes into an annual school-wide swing dance project. The swing dance project had been a tradition that had been started by a PE teacher and history teacher. The Emma visit brought 7th and 8th grade students in to experience e-textiles and then look for ways that those 7th and 8th grade students could buddy up with younger students and teach them how to make artifacts for the swing dance. When Emma visited Montgomery School, the goal was to examine ways to use maker materials and processes to support next generation science standards based units. We planned a co teaching experience with Sarah's seventh grade science classes using maker materials and processes to explore storyline 
as NGSS three-dimensional learning. Sarah's expertise in science and my work with maker materials created a model lesson that we then shared with the rest of the science community throughout the state. Emma's visit to Mallet's Bay School was to support their teachers in gaining confidence with integrating coding and making as part of their commitment to increasing student voice and choice throughout the school year. Together we planned a 90-minute lesson where 40 students came in and learned coding with physical computing. A subgroup of students then went on to design an interactive audible garden for the Mini Maker Fair in the open house of their school as a choice activity for their genius project. It was a big success. 40 students were exposed to coding using the Makey Makey and a whole community got to learn about maker education through these students' projects during their genius hour. The Emma visit to Randolph School was to meet their goal of introducing the staff and students to the concept of making and to spark a discussion around repurposing an existing space into a project space. They wanted the teachers and students to come into the space, so we planned some activities during the day that students and teachers could participate in and see the space to start the conversation about turning it into a makerspace. We also partnered with the school and community to introduce the concept of makerspaces to the community during an event called the Randolph Mini Maker Fair. By planning this mini experience, a lot of students and teachers dropped in to the makerspace and also community members got to see where the school was thinking of going with introducing MakerEd in their school. 